so glad that I told Sage about you today. It feels like a burden was just lifted off of my chest. I'm glad we told Sage too. I mean, it would be nice to talk to Ace, even though he's moving on. I have cooled off about him and Stella just, just a little bit. I know it's hard to lose somebody you love. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I know you know. I'm just glad that I'm finally coming to the realization that he can't be with me and I can't be with him. It's just not possible. And besides, I only have a couple weeks left. I mean, it's just, it's, it's impossible for us to get together. The weeks, <laughs> what about weeks? Weeks, what are you talking Bro, about? For dinner, we're going out to eat. Are you coming? Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Do you, uh, do you wanna just stay here? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about me. You go have a nice dinner with your family. You've been hanging out with me a lot lately. Also, do you care if I go through your wardrobe again? <laughs> no. Make as many outfits as you like. Okay, well, I should probably get going. I'll see you later, okay? Bye, have fun. Hello, Mr. Wardrobe. should go with who? <sighs> I really need to start thinking of other ideas to entertain myself. I'm pretty sure I've got a few ideas up my sleeve. Grayson, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Checking up on you, of course. The time's running out, Emily. And you still owe me. I... Uh, I still have a couple of weeks left. You came way too early. You need to leave. <laughs> oh, Emily. How could you be so ignorant? You're fighting faster than you think you are. Grace and I know what I'm doing. I don't, sweetheart. Why do you think you came to me? Listen, I could care less what you have to say to me right now. We had a deal, and I still have a couple of weeks left. I know we had a deal, and I'll keep my word. But you know something inside of you is changing. You're losing memories, aren't you? I don't want to talk about it. So it started. Emily, you have to come to realize that this is going to end soon. You're the one that chose to trade in your precious memories to stay here on Earth just to see your friends and family for a couple of more weeks. Talk to your dealer. Why do I keep blacking out and losing control of myself? That wasn't a part of the deal. Ugh. You should really read a contract before you sign it. You sold your memories to me. Your memories make you who you are. Once you don't have those, you start to lose yourself piece by piece. Once you finally forget who you truly are, they start taking pieces of your soul. Then you just become an empty vessel. By then, anything or anyone that is desperately trying to get onto this earth can take possession of that vessel. You lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You were just so desperate to get back here. No, no, you, you lied to me. You didn't tell me my memories were attached with everything else you just explained. I'm a con man, Emily. What do you expect from me? But the deal is done and you signed the contract. So you just expect me to suffer here on Earth, lose all my memories and forget who my family and friends are and then have some random spirit possess my vessel? Well, isn't that how all these things are supposed to go? You can't make me leave here. Yes, I can. I'll be back in a couple of weeks to claim your vessel. Why was I so desperate? I'm so sorry, Brooke. Come on. Ugh. 
Hey, I'm back. Sorry it took longer than I expected. Were you able to find things to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was. Well, that's good. I didn't want to leave you here all by yourself and just have you be completely bored. Did you end up picking out an outfit? I, uh, I really like the green one. I think it would match with your eyes. Thanks. Sorry you had to stay here. Oh, no. You're fine. It's really no trouble at all. Hey, sis? Yes, Ever? Can you help me with some homework? Come on in. Sorry to bother you, but I just, I cannot get this math problem right. And mom and dad are too busy to help me. I'm sure I can help you. Go to the table. Thanks, Brooke. You're welcome, Ever. I feel, I like, feel like I know, I know that, that person. person. What are you talking about, Emily? That's my sister. You have a sister. a sister? Emily, are you okay? You've known her for pretty much her whole life. To be completely honest with you, I'm not sure if I'm okay. okay. Yeah, that looks good. Good morning. Oh, hey. You were gone for a little bit. Usually you're up a little earlier. Yeah, I thought maybe I should just give you a little bit of a break. I feel like I've been hogging a lot of your time. Oh my gosh, no, you're totally fine. You don't know how happy I am to have you here. Are you coming to school today? Mm, I don't know. I think I'll stay today. I'll just let you have some alone time with your friends and Sage. <laughs> I think I kind of want to just figure out this whole ghost thing out. Okay, that's completely fine with me. Brooke, breakfast is ready. Also, the bus is here, so you better just grab and go. Okay, Ma, I'll be right out. You better get going. Yeah, I'll see you tonight, okay? See you tonight. Oh, and I totally forgot to tell you. My mom has errands and my dad will be at work. My sister is going on the same bus as me to school, so you'll be completely home alone, so feel free to do whatever you'd like. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. I'll see you later. It's time, Emily. I told you, I wasn't leaving. You're losing it, Emily, and you know it. I'm perfectly fine. What's your so-called best friend's last name, huh? You tell me. You didn't even remember that she had a sister, did you? I'm not leaving. You could say that all you want, but it's not gonna change anything. We had a deal. <laughs> Emily, you're so gullible. Don't you know not to make deals with strange angels in heaven? Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, don't trust everything you hear? Some things are just too good to be true. I'm perfectly fine. I can remember things. I, I am in control. You can't have my vessel. Oh no, you don't. Get your paws off of me. Let go. Let go of me. Fine, I'm letting go. Face it, Emily. You're done for. You're an empty vessel. You're too weak to do anything. What are you gonna do? Hit me? <sighs> Face it, Emily. Your precious vessel is as good as mine. I'm, uh, um, I'm back. Were you remodeling? What were you doing? It's pretty cold in here too. Emily! Is everything okay? This is so weird and unlike her. That's better. Maybe it's because I left her here. Hmm. I don't know. Brooke, dinner's ready. Yeah, I I'm coming. What the heck? 
Who am I? Why can't I remember? What is the Declaration of Independence? What is the Statue of Liberty? Just the list goes on. What in the heck? I did not search these. Did Emily search these? <sighs> Whatever. I, I don't know. If she's not going to show up, she's not going to show up. It's way too late. I got to get to bed. I have school. It's just it's so weird. She would show up by now, right? It's just not like her. taken me. It's a little pocket of the universe that I like to call the empty. It's where I keep all my clients when I'm not using them. It's just full of empty vessels like you. You make me sick. Well, you can't trust everyone, can you? So what are you gonna do with me? Just keep me here for the rest of my life? Well, to be completely honest with you, you don't really have a life anymore, do you? What do you want with my vessel? Oh, you know, the usual. Possession, taken over. Make your friends and family think it's you. Then get what I want from them. And what's that? Well, of course, their vessel. I can only use yours for a limited time. Until you completely fade away. Now do you understand why you don't make deals with the devil? You need to leave. Fine. If you want to sit here in complete silence, that's fine with me. <laughs> okay, okay. Be okay. Maybe if we tried hard enough, we can talk to Brooke. Okay. Um, Brooke. Brooke. Emily. Emily. Brooke. Emily. Brooke, you gotta answer me. She's painting. Brooke. Brooke. Where are you? Emily. 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 Emily, Emily are, are you there? Are you there? He's got me, bro. He's got me. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Brooke, you got a little something on your. F I'm fine. I'm gonna go clean up in the bathroom. <sighs> uh. Bit of a bold move, don't you think? You think you're gonna get out of here alive? Trying to communicate with the living isn't going to help. You try that again, Miss Maple, and you might need to start watching your back. I won't let you impersonate me. You don't think I won't let them make the same mistake as I did? Watch your back, Maple. I have to get over here. I can teleport my way out. Hey, hey, Ma! Come take a look at this. 